Hi there, this is Dan Heinrich Aquascaping and I wanted to make a quick video showing my breeding setup. Um, it's not much compared to what you might see on YouTube, but it's a start and uh, I got a lot going on actually. So I'm going to come take a look. We'll start down here. I've got some Dumbo Ear Red Mosaic Guppies and I'm breeding those because I just love the way they look and figure I'd sell them for a couple couple of bucks and fund my hobby and, and, and future projects but I've got a female in each of these 10 gallons and the thought behind it is she uh, will give birth and the fry will have plenty of spots to hide. There's the other female. She just had her first drop. Wasn't a whole lot. I think like eight of them. But better than nothing. Uh, also in here we have, in each tank, we have two um, super red bristlenose plecos. Uh, I bought them off eBay. Here's a good, a good video one. Um, from a gentleman. I can't remember his name, but they're really high quality. Really happy with these fish. They've been just already impressing me with their color, their uh, temperament. Really excited to breed those. So that's all I got going on in here. So they're just a couple 10 gallon uh, guppy, you know, birthing tanks, I guess. Here's some baby guppies that just spawned, I'd say a week ago, maybe. These guys are going to be mutt guppies. They were kind of a hodgepodge mix. They'll be going outside in the pond. Believe it or not, there are 74 in here. And this is just a five gallon. So I get to water change like every other day, uh, giving them baby brine giving them some aquarium co-op fry food. They really like this. Um, doing eco-complete in all these tanks. But, you know, I've used aqua soil most of my aquascaping hobby career, I guess you should say. You could say. But uh, for the low-tech side, for a lot of fish and not a whole lot of plants, eco-complete's where it's at. I feel like it's going to last forever. It's easy to clean. Uh, it's easy to plant in. You know, I put I put a bunch of, uh, what you call it, Osmocote underneath it before I start the tank out so it holds a lot of nutrients and I know it's a great breeding ground for bacteria, beneficial bacteria. And also with this tank I have a auto feeder, this is also aquarium co-op, feeds a small amount four times a day. Notice a huge increase in growth that way as long as you maintain the water quality. Um, I'm going to skip these two for a second because I'll explain. In here. We have some Julie Corys that I want to be breeding here soon. My favorite Cory cats. And I don't know if they're the false Corys or the real ones. I have to do some research. But uh, trying to plump them up a little bit. Just put them in here the other day. Uh, you can see I don't have a light up above this tank because I want them to be comfortable. Uh, <laughs> that Anubius is full of algae. But uh, excited to breed these, up, these guys. I think I have like eight of them. Uh, I still got to net some out of my 90, but they're, if you've ever tried to catch them out of a fully planted tank, it's, it's not very easy. So, I'm going to just start power feeding these guys, lots of clean water, see what happens, you know. If they don't breed, at least they'll get nice and fat, and who doesn't love a fat quarry cat? Um, in here, it's my, I think my favorite fish so far that I've kept, and that's the Celestial Pearl Danios. Love these guys. They look like little trout. A little nano raspora um, and just they're just fun to keep in a small tank they're they're they've got great little personalities when you have a big group of them and they got places to hide uh, you'll probably notice I've got mixed in here I've got some emerald rasporas too they came they kind of look like little bass I love them I bought them from Aquahuna and uh, they came in mixed in and I you know I wasn't mad about it I think it's pretty cool these guys, I probably have about 20 of them, and I'm breeding them. Uh, that's my next project. So I have a cup with just a little Christmas moss. Hard to see because I don't have a light over here. But uh, let's see if I can turn my light on. Eh, I don't know if I can. Anyway, there's a little bit of moss in there, and every you know every day at first light, they, they go in there and they, they scatter their eggs all around this moss. I pull it out and I pull, pull the eggs. So that's what's in here. 
we've got a hundred eggs in here and I know you probably can't see it lighting's pretty bad oh yeah there you go so those eggs over there got about a hundred eggs got a little methylene blue gonna let these guys hatch out um, because I just love these fish and I want to create an army of them which brings me to this tank here are some free swimming CPDs I think we have, let me check, my wife puts notes on all these tanks. We have 37 in this tank. It's a little five gallons, so I gotta do lots of water changes, keep the water clean for them. Sorry for the. They just started eating um, baby brine shrimp. So you can see they got the little orange bellies, I'm focusing on the one on the left side. I wanna sell these on my website too. I, I live in a pretty uh, good area for finding fish and I couldn't find these guys uh, We looked a long time. My wife finally found them gave them to me for my birthday, which was really sweet But uh, I think I want to just start breeding these getting some high quality ones out there I'm Not trying to get rich just want to kind of spread them out and I just really enjoy breeding them honestly We got some cherry shrimp in here. We've got some orange cherry shrimp and some blue cherry shrimp in here um not seriously breeding these right now, but I want to. Watch a lot of Mark's Shrimp Tanks videos. I really like his videos. Uh, and this tank, we've just got some red cherry shrimp. I don't, there's probably over 20 of them in here. Uh, I've gotten these from Aquahuna and they've multiplied my little aquascapes. So I'll kind of just put a bunch of red cherries in there. Of course, they're being shy right now. And over here, we've got the angelfish that I'm selling. So this is an old tank. I think it's like a 25 gallon hexagon from Oceanic. We got it from a friend that didn't want it anymore. And um, these are the fish that are th the larger of the uh, spawns I've had. Got some really, really beautiful color developing already. And um, these guys go in here and then this is where I ship from so you know I'll they'll fast for a couple days and then I'll pack them up from here but these are our biggest ones uh, I just love their personality I mean they just they're just so in your face they're always in the front of the glass always super hungry super energetic can't get enough of these fish I really love them everyone is a little bit different and then over here, I've got a 60 gallon, um, not the cleanest tank in the world, but uh, I've got a few hundred in here and it gets a water change pretty much every day that I'm home. Um, these guys are growing up. Same thing, you know, primarily white, got a couple black ones in here. Uh, those parents didn't make as many spawns as the other ones. Um, and. Yeah, just breed, just just growing these guys out too. So that's my. <laughs> I would breed more kinds of angels, but I don't have any more tanks right now. So that's all I got. Yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on. And in the future, what's going to end up happening is, sorry for the mess. It's it's pretty messy. I'm gonna take all because I mean, <laughs> this was not built for fish tanks. This was here when we bought the house, this, this storage unit, storage 2x4 unit, and it's not going to carry much more weight than that. I mean, I'm kind of, I mean, the, the way that they put it together was not really for weight. So what I'm going to do is put some metal racks down here. I'm going to go um, probably from that cabinet all the way to the wall, and then I haven't even told my wife this yet, but from this sink all the way to that corner want two big metal racks, uh, three three high. I want to get an auto water change system. That's in the works. I think I'm going to probably start that this summer. Um, I really want to kick up my breeding. It's just I've fallen in love with it. I, I love aquascaping, but the, the breeding side of it is just as rewarding for me. So kind of like right in the middle as far as fish keeping and aquascaping goes. I like them both. And I don't think I have to pick one. Uh, and then down here, I got a 20 gallon tub. This is not running yet. I'm waiting for the filter. This is gonna be for the blue dreams. I'm gonna blue dream uh, shrimp. I'm gonna breed. I got a white sand down there, so I'll be able to see them really easily. 
Um, also Mark's shrimp tank um, idea for this. So really excited about that too. So yeah, that's all I got right now. Not much going on, but a lot of plans. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, just hit like. It really helps my videos out. And if you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool. Thanks for watching, though. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.